What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Air Green Greens Junk Removal. Glad you're back. Uh, so last video, we talked about uh, marketing and different things that uh, I was doing as far as one of the options that I've been doing is boots on the ground marketing. It's a really good way to drum up business for um, winter work. If you have more time than you do dollars, a really good way is to um, go out and do door hangers, do flyers. Um, you could use actual real door hangers, or you could just print your own flyers. Again, I use UZ Marketing, Uz Marketing, to create my own postcards. Um, you could use whatever you want, but the bottom line is you got to get out there and um, knock on doors. Figuratively, figuratively speaking, don't actually knock on doors uh, unless you have a permit for it. I would just be careful with that. Uh, but certainly, you can go and leave literature behind in people's homes. Um, you know, again, I use the postcards and you'll see a little bit in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you that I actually legitimately do this. Um, I go out, I, I practice what I preach. So this is a, a free way to do it, uh, to, to get business and at least to get your name out there. It's winter, it's January, it's mid-January right now. It is a slower season. Um, but, you know, instead of just sitting home on, on your hands waiting for the phone to ring, waiting for the... Um, waiting for the spring get out there and pass out flyers because as i said in my last video people will hold on to your flyers for weeks for months even years i've had people hold on to my flyers my postcards for over a year and i know it's over a year because they sh they described the flyer what the flyer looked like i'm like we don't do that anymore that was a long time ago uh where they, it was some kind of promotion i was running on the flyer oh my god that's been a long time so um, and they say, yeah, I was just holding on to it for a long, for a while. I kept putting it in the drawer, I put it in my fridge. I kept seeing it over and over again. Um, and, uh, anyway, so, um, <clears throat> people hold on to them. So get out there and do it. So I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I'm going to show an actual video log of, of myself sped up. So I'm going to time-lapse it so it's going to be quicker. Um, so it doesn't take forever, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do some homes. I'm going to show you how I do it. That I go door to door, passing out these flyers. Alrighty, so we'll talk to you soon, and uh, we'll uh, t t t take a watch on how we do this. guys well there you have it uh i underestimated how difficult it was going to be to uh um do that <laughs> while uh um to pass out door hangers and film at the same time so as you can see it was a little rocky uh and at the end i dropped the phone <laughs> i had it, like in my pocket um i also didn't want to be like really obvious with it in case someone did you know a homeowner came out I, like, and I was filming. That would've been really weird and uh, very uncomfortable. So, um, but I did it. I did uh, end up doing, I think 30. So I think I, I think I filmed maybe five or six of them, I think. Um, and the phone fell and I didn't really want to be walking around the whole neighborhood, um, you know, filming. Because I actually did bump into a couple of, a couple of people. Uh, someone was in their, in their garage and uh, I just walked, basically bumped into them. They were like walking in, I was walking out, it was kind of weird, um, but it turned out fine. I was like, hey, you know, just passing out flyers today. And uh, they smiled and said, thank you. And that was it, you know, um, you don't say anything else. You don't have to say, oh, do you need any junk removed? You don't want to ask questions, just hand the flyer, keep walking. If you happen to bump into anybody, Every, people are cool. People, they're used to getting that kind of thing usually. Um, so anyway, um, that took me like, those were, uh, those were townhomes, so I got that done pretty quick. Um, that took me maybe 10 minutes to do all that. So uh, not, not very long at all. Again, these are ideal as far as time optimization goes. Um, 
but you know, again, on average about 15 hours. There's gonna be some homes, even suburban homes that are, are more spaced out. And so it may take you a minute and a half in between homes. Town homes like these, uh, you know, you can do one every 20, 30 seconds, door to door. And uh, it's, a, it's just a volume. That's all it is, is a volume game. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it. I'm gonna hop in the truck here in a second. All right, guys, um, there you have it. Like I said, you can definitely do it. Um, you know, make it a goal that you're gonna do a certain amount every single day, write it down. I would definitely count um, count out how many cars you have. If you wanna do 20 or 50 or 100 a day, whatever. Uh, but definitely keep a track of how many you do because it's really, really easy to think that you did more than you really did. Um, you know, I could have thought that I did 50 just now, but I know I did. I count actually to 27. So I did 27 homes. And so, um, again, it's just volume. So, you know, that's not really, if that's all you do is just like 30 or 50, you know, you can't just pass out a hundred flyers and then just think, okay, well that's it. Like, uh, I better get some calls now. It doesn't work that way. If you pass out a hundred, you might get one. Um, in order to get the 1%, it's an average. So you may pass out a hundred flyers and not get any phone calls. And then you may pass out a hundred more and get three phone calls. You know what I mean? So it just depends on neighborhoods. I mean, I've canvassed neighbor neighborhoods before and I don't know why I keep going back. I think it's because they're easy to canvas like those. And for some reason I keep going back to them even though I don't get any phone calls from them. Other neighborhoods are, I'll get like a six or 7% return. I don't know if it's just like the type of people that live in those homes, their personalities. Um, I, I, I don't really know, but there's certain neighborhoods that I found that respond really well to postcards and some that don't. It's just the way it is. Um, but you just have to keep doing it. It's a lot of large numbers. And you know, uh, the bottom line is if you don't have any jobs to do um, or if you're in between jobs, apart from guerrilla marketing and parking your truck somewhere, get out there and pass out flyers, man, you know? Um, it doesn't take a lot. It gives you something to do. So when I first started my business, my other business, and I'm, I'm applying the same principles here because success in business is all about, like I said earlier, state of mind, but there are also, there's universal principles and things that you should be doing. And so for home service businesses like this one, I say home services. I mean, obviously we could, you know, do junk calling for, for uh, businesses as well, but in general, a service related business, especially junk calling, um, when I first started my other business, pressure washing, I made a commitment that I was gonna be doing one of three things. And so if you're just starting out or if you want to grow more and you know, you, you, you need ideas and you wanna figure out ways to drum up business, you should be doing one of three things at all times, okay? And this is what I did, all right? So make it a commitment, this is, this is what I did, that I was either going to be passing out flyers, doing junk hauling, or taking checks to the bank. That's it, all right? So if you're ever sitting in your truck, uh, you're sitting at home and you're thinking, all right, I don't have any phone calls, no one's calling me right now, what do I do? You need to be asking yourself all the time, am I hauling something away, doing an actual junk haul job? Am I taking checks to the bank? Because if you're not taking checks to the bank, and you're not actually doing a junk haul, you need to be passing out flyers. That's it. <laughs> if you can do that, um, your phone will be ringing off the hook. Now, it's interesting because you're gonna get jobs. When you work hard, you will get, it will come back to you. So for instance, I know that when I pass out flyers, it's a lot of work. Um, I mean, it's not a lot of work, like physically. I mean, I'm just walking back and forth, but it's really cold out, so that kind of sucks, but. I know that it's gonna come back to me. So when I pass out flyers, I'm putting out effort. I know that, you know, I'm either gonna get jobs from the work that I just did directly, or I may not get any jobs from the from the work I just did, but it may come back another way, right? I may actually get a phone call. Someone found me on Google, Yelp, um, you know, uh, maybe a referral, and it's just like a big job. It's like, oh wow, that worked out nice. So you just gotta, you know, you, you gotta work hard, you gotta work smart, 
but just be consistent. Whatever you do, just be consistent. And if, if you ever feel discouraged and negative, like calls aren't coming in and you don't know how to drum a business, get out there and pound the streets, do bog marketing, boots on the ground marketing. You know, shake hands, kiss babies. Uh, don't do that now actually, because it's the coronavirus, but you know, definitely get out there and pass out postcards. Uh, go into realtor real, realtor offices. And this is another video. I don't want to talk too much about different marketing strategies because there are more I want to discuss. And networking is another big thing that takes a whole video. But this was specifically for boots on the ground marketing, uh, for passing out flyers, and it gives you something to do, gets your name out there, and you're not just sitting around waiting for the phone to ring. Um, this is something that you could easily do in the winter time when it's slower, in the slow season. You know, get out those flyers, as much as possible because you will get some phone calls from it, but you'll get a lot of people that hold on to it for the spring and the summer and they'll call you based upon the effort that you did now. So there is a residual effect to it. So, all right guys, appreciate it. Again, um, I, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to this you know, channel, like the video, let me know if you like it. If you like hearing like specifically this video, I can make more, you know, more videos about marketing, uh, tips on, uh, on job tips on how to how to price jobs let me know what you want to what kind of videos you, you want me to, to do i can talk about a lot of things i could talk about marketing i could talk about uh, how to price jobs how to stack your truck i could talk about um you know what crms uh to use uh, how to follow up with customers a lot of different topics so let me know what you want to hear more videos about and um again hit that like button and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon